says I am Princey and welcome back to my channel Angst Cadbury. Hope you all are doing great and hope you all are comfortable out here. So in today's recipe in Princess Pagha series, I am going to share this chicken curry, chicken leg curry recipe with you. You will love this recipe, I know, because who doesn't love eating chicken legs? And one of the main problem while serving your guest is that uh, which piece is good and which piece is uh, bad. You used to you want to serve your guest with the best piece of chicken. So you are if you buy chicken for the market you get just confused that which piece to serve to be to be served to the guest so here is a great solution so you can just buy chicken legs cook them and just serve it a piece to your guest and your guest is also happy and you are also happy that you have served the best piece to your guest so if you are interested in knowing this recipe how i cook this chicken leg recipe then do keep on watching so now quickly moving on to the ingredient list for the first ingredient we will be taking chicken legs i am cooking for three persons so i am taking three chicken legs and i have made incisions in it so that the chicken legs get cooked very nicely i don't want a raw chicken leg to be served to my guest so here i have taken three chicken legs and so what i will be doing first is that i will take a pressure cooker in that i will be taking this leg pieces so I'm adding the leg pieces into it then I will be adding some water so I will just dip the leg pieces into the water and then to this I will be adding one tablespoon of salt and then boil the leg pieces in the pressure cooker until it gets one whistle so meet you after boiling this so this one i have steamed the chicken after giving a one whistle cook in a pressure cooker now i will marinate it so in order to marinate it i have taken two tablespoon of uh, chickpea flour to this i will be adding one tablespoon of turmeric powder next one tablespoon of salt then one tablespoon of amchur powder i am just eyeballing it and one tablespoon of coriander powder so i will just pour in some water to it and mix the ingredients well so after making a thick paste like so make sure that you don't have any lumps in it so I will be dipping in the chicken leg pieces. I will mix it well so that all the spices get into every part of the chicken. So I will marinate it for next 20 minutes and within this 20 minutes I will chop off the other ingredients and make it ready for cooking my chicken legs recipe. So the other ingredients are we will be needing onions. I have cut 7 onions and uh, make it, cut it into 2 halves. I have cut 2 tomatoes and cut it into 2 halves. Some green chilies and some ginger and garlic. So this will go into a blender and then I will make a paste out of it. Next I am taking uh, potatoes. I don't know how much potatoes I have taken but I have cut it into 4 halves. And some turmeric powder and of course salt to taste last but not the least i will be also taking some shahi biryani masala in order to cook this recipe so what i will be doing next is take a blender like this and then to this i have added the tomatoes i will be also adding the onions the green chilies and the ginger garlic and of course make a smooth paste out of it and while making the paste i will not add to the blend add water to the blender because the tomatoes will be secreting their water and hence it will be enough for making a smooth paste out of it so i will be not adding water while blending this mixture 
so next i will be heating up a deep bottom pan like so i am taking a big pan you can take a small pan also but i love cooking in this pan so i am taking this one so once the pan is hot enough i will be adding oil to it i have added a lot of amount of oil because i will be frying the chicken pieces to in it so once the oil is hot enough i will be adding the chicken pieces one by one i will fry one piece and then other after frying it then i will be adding the uh just stain the first piece and then i will be adding the other piece so the first piece goes into the pan and i will just fry it until it is golden brown in color then i will just uh, give it a flip and fry it from the other side until both the sides are golden brown in color so likewise i will be frying the three leg pieces and of course i will be frying the pot toast too so let's try it now So I am done with frying the three leg pieces and I have also fried the potato pieces. Now I am good to go with it and see how yummylicious the leg pieces look like. You can have it like this also but I will be cooking a curry out of it. So with the remaining oil in the pan I will just add in the onion, tomato, chili, ginger, garlic paste mixture to it and then fry it and be careful while doing so because it splatters a lot and you may hurt yourself. So take your safety precautions and then cook it and if you are younger than 18 years then of course uh, cook it under so adult supervision only. So once the onions uh, mixture is fried up well and it turns out something like this golden brown in color. So next I will be adding the spices to it. So I will be adding 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder then to this I will be adding 1 tablespoon of salt if you want more salt then you can add I am adding salt according to taste and next I will be adding the shahi biryani masala so I will be adding at least 2 tablespoon of shahi biryani masala so I am just eyeballing here you can just uh, take a spoon and measure it and then add it so after adding everything i will give it a good mix and cook it for another 15 minutes so that the spices get up its flavor and they are cooked well because i don't want the uh, raw taste of the spices so i will cook it well for next 15 minutes Sometimes the spices may take more than 15 minutes to get cooked up nicely. So how will you know that your spices has been cooked nicely is that once your spices leave the bottom of the pan then they are good to go. So the spices are left the bottom of the pan here and so I am adding water to it. I will add water according to the consistency of the gravy I want. So if you want it in a thin consistency you can add more water. If you want in a thick consistency then you can always add less amount of water so once i have added water to it i will be scraped down everything that is the spices from the sides of the pan and then mix it in the water mixture and just cook it for next uh, just a few minutes so that the water gets boiled ah. So once the gravy has started boiling I will be adding the chicken leg pieces into it and I will also pop in the potato pieces into the gravy and once I have added the chicken leg pieces and the potato pieces to the gravy I will move stir the gravy with a smooth hand because I don't want to break down the leg pieces into small small crumbs and the gravy I just hate that so I will just move uh, stir it with a smooth hand. So once done then I will cover the deep bottom pan with the lid and allow the chicken pieces and the potato pieces to cook well and I will also allow the flavors to get into the chicken pieces so in between I will be stirring it occasionally so that my gravy doesn't get burnt from the bottom. So, but I will be stirring it with a smooth hand because I don't want to break the leg pieces and hence after cooking it for next 15 to 20 minutes our gravy will be all ready to be served with hot rice. So last but not the least our chicken legs gravy is all ready to be served with hot rice or garam chapatis or you can also even serve it with naans. 
and bread and whatever item you like so serve it i am serving it in a brass bowl like so because we usually serve everything in a brass plate and brass uh, brass bowl so that's it for the recipe today if you like this recipe then do hit that like button down below and do try this recipe once at home and if you try it then don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section and till my next video love you take care and bye and of course subscribe to angs cadbury for more and more informational useful and interesting video so stay tuned to angs cadbury